We all have a dream game we want to make. Whether that be a fantasy open world RPG or a space exploration horror game featuring countless planets waiting to be explored. Or even games about a goose causing havoc for a small village. Yes, even that. Your first dream game that you've been imagining making since you were a kid might not actually be as good as you think. As the great artist Pablo Picasso once said, good artists copy while great artists steal. But many game developers fall into the trap of copying their favourite games with a different coat, thinking they've created something special. So how can you make your dream game a truly unique and engaging experience? While it's useful to draw inspiration from other games, it's important to understand that every game and story is different. One design method may work for a particular project, while it could entirely destroy another. And let's not forget that every game goes through a lot of iterations, with the first idea changing hundreds of times throughout the development process. Games drastically change in the development process. Some of your favourite games could have started in a completely different direction. Take Resident Evil 4, for example. The main designer realised that the game wasn't connected to the previous titles in the series, so they took this new idea and created a whole new game which you might know today, Devil May Cry. Yeah, they created a brand new series based on the prototype for Resident Evil 4. This goes to show that making changes in the design may entirely change the experience you want your players to have. Then, why will your first dream game suck? Well, it all comes down to experience. See, people want to make games as a hobby, and while there's nothing wrong with that, they will end up putting years of their free time into this project. If you take this seriously and you think of it as your startup business, then you might even put in more work. Devs forget that games are actually a product meant for the audience, and this always creates problems down the line. One of the biggest challenges of game development is managing your expectations. It's essential to have a clear vision of what you want your game to be, but it's equally important to be realistic about what is achievable within your budget, timeline and technical limitations. The technology required to achieve your vision may not exist yet or may be too expensive or complex to use. For example, if you want to create a game that simulates realistic physics, you will need a physics engine that can handle complex calculations and simulations. If such an engine doesn't exist or is too expensive, you may need to simplify your game mechanics or find a different approach. Developing a game takes time, and if your dream game is too ambitious, it may take longer than you think, leading to delays and extra costs. Let's say you want to create a game with a vast open world. You'll need to invest a significant amount of time and resources in designing and creating the world, which may delay the development of other game features. Games also require resources such as money, equipment and people. If your dream game is too expensive to produce, you may not be able to secure the necessary funding. After all, you want to make sure you will ship that game without thinking about how you'll pay your rent. Another common reason why your dream game will fail is a lack of focus. When you have a lot of ideas in your game, it's easy to get carried away and try to include everything. However, this can lead to a bloated and unfocused game that fails to deliver a memorable experience to your players. To keep the engagement in your game consistent, you'll need to have a solid structure. Many games have mechanics that are fun, but they don't keep the players entertained for too long. With a bad structure, a player will quickly lose focus and become lost. Creating a stable structure is one of the most challenging tasks in game development. Since games are a relatively new art form, devs borrow working methods from other mediums. Designers took the narrative structure of movies and books and they've applied it to games. While it could be used for the story, it's also used to mark the emotional pacing of the game. This graph will show what the player's experience will look like throughout the whole game and every chapter. The graph will usually mark important moments in the narrative. Enemy encounters, unlocking new abilities, new weapons, and when the players will face challenges. As a designer, you must try to control the player's experience from the beginning through the end. This is one of the hardest tasks and it's also what will make your dream game fail. If you want to create a first-person shooter game, you may be tempted to add RPG elements, crafting and survival mechanics, which can overwhelm players and distract them from the core gameplay experience. This is called feature creep or overscoping and is a way for developers to explain that there are too many features which are making your game bloated and unfocused. Such a problem will also extend the time you'll need to finish your game. If you're not sure what your game is about or what experience you want to create, it will be challenging to make a cohesive game. It's important to have a clear idea of your game's genre, setting, mechanics and overall vision. Without a clear direction, your game may lack focus and fail to resonate with players. As one of the senior level designers at Arcane Studio, 
Stevie Lee mentioned that every element from the sound and level design to the UI should work well together. This methodology is called holistic design, and games which do not keep that in mind will most likely fail to be engaging. Now, even if you have a clear vision and focus for your game, poor execution can still cause it to fail. Game development requires a high level of technical expertise, attention to detail, and a deep understanding of game design principles. Another problem your game may suffer from is performance issues, bugs, glitches, or crashes, making it difficult or frustrating to play. Bugs and glitches are normal. Some issues go unnoticed. It's not until tens of thousands of players are playing it that the issues become more common. If your game has poor optimization, it may run slowly or have low frame rates. Bugs could stop people from progressing or losing immersion. All of this will most certainly cause players to lose interest in your game. Your game might fail because you probably didn't thoroughly test it to ensure that it's enjoyable, engaging, and bug-free. If you don't test your game enough, you may miss critical issues that can affect the player's experience. Your game may also be unbalanced, boring, or confusing, leading to player frustration. This might be because of multiple problems in the design, and all of them could have been found early on if your game had more testing sessions. Maybe the failure of your dream game is outside of developing the game itself. Marketing is crucial for the success of any game. If you don't market your game effectively, it may fail to reach its intended audience, even if it's an excellent game. If your game is not visible to players, they may never even know about it, no matter how good it is. If players don't get excited about your game, they may not even bother to try it out. It's important to build hype for your game before it's released to generate anticipation among players. In most cases, game developers want to create their dream game experience. Let's focus on a very important word in that sentence, there. What causes many games and probably your future dream game to fail is that devs want to create an experience which will be only engaging to one single person in the world, themselves. While it isn't an issue to make a game more niche, they should appeal to a broader audience. This goes back to what we mentioned before. Games are business products that are meant to sell. If your game doesn't sell or it doesn't have a fan base, even though you've invested so much time and money into marketing, it might be the game idea itself or its execution. While creating your dream game can be a thrilling experience, it's important to face the harsh reality that it might not turn out as amazing as you envisioned. Numerous pitfalls can cause your game to flop miserably, from overscoping to poor marketing. The road to a successful game is filled with countless obstacles. Unfortunately, if you don't put in the effort to carefully plan, iterate on your designs, and ensure a high level of quality, your dream game will most certainly fail. Do not be afraid. Many first projects fail. The best we can do is learn from them. We assure you that even if your first dream game doesn't succeed, your next one will have higher chances because you'll be more prepared and experienced. So go ahead and take on the challenges of creating the game of your dreams. With the right mindset and approach, you can make your game a truly unique and engaging experience that players will love for years to come. If you're eager to bring your dream game to life but lack the technical knowledge, relying on game dev tutorials and courses might seem like the best option. However, you may be surprised to learn that these guides could actually destroy your learning process and result in a generic, boring game. Join us in our video in which we'll talk about why game dev tutorials will poison your progress.